Um, hello everyone, welcome to this course on principles and applications of NMR spectroscopy. I am Hanudatta Atreya from NMR Research Center, Indian Institute of Science. Uh, this course is going to focus on uh, very basic aspects of what is NMR spectroscopy and what are its different applications. Um, NMR spectroscopy has a wide, wide range of application uh, as you can see in different areas uh, in biology and chemistry. In fact, one can apply to different uh, agriculture, to medicines, uh, we can apply to physics and different areas of structural chemistry and biology. So, in this course, uh, we are going to look at how chem NMR can be applied mainly to chemistry uh, problems and looking at how they can be also applied to biological problems such as biomolecules. Uh, so, this is briefly the outline of the course. Uh, we will be going through in the first part, uh, first, uh, so this is an 8 weeks course. So, in the first 2 weeks of the course, uh, we will look at the basic concepts in NMR spectroscopy, the theoretical understanding of how NMR uh, technique works. In the second part of the course, we will look at the practical aspects, we will see how NMR data can be collected, analyzed and we can interpret the NMR data. And this will be the second, uh, second part of the course. In the third uh, part that is in the sixth and seventh uh, in this part of the third part of the course, we will look at 2D NMR spectroscopy. Uh, we will see how uh, proton-proton correlation experiments and proton-carbon heteronuclear experiments can, uh, do, uh, can be acquired, uh, can, how it can be interpreted, how it can be recorded. And in the last part of the course, uh, we will be focused on mainly applications of some of the experiments and uh, we will see how uh, we can apply to drug discovery to determine the structures of uh, molecules and, and look at the structures of not only chemical compounds, but also biological molecules and see how the quantitative aspects of NMR spectroscopy can be obtained. So, this is basically the overall outline of this course and this will be very useful for those who are working in the area of chemistry and biology. Uh, and try and using this uh, technique as an analytical technique in their research. Thank you.